All right, I want to get right down to business here and get into examples of how to graph parabolas. All right, y squared equals negative x is definitely a horizontal parabola. And since uh, this number here, I want to make sure you understand, is a negative 1. So it's negative 1x. So our focal diameter is going to be 1 in this case. That's the width of the parabola. So let's get started here. We need to identify where the vertex is. Well, if x is 0, y is 0 in this case, right? Um, so the vertex is at 0, 0. And I know my width is 1, so the distance to my focus is 1 fourth. 1 divided by 4 is going to be the distance to my focus. Now, since it's horizontal, my focus is either to the right or to the left. Since this number is negative, my focus is going to be on the left side. So I need to go 1 fourth of a unit to the left. So let's say that this is 1 fourth right here. So there's my focus. So my focus is going to be the ordered pair negative 1 fourth, comma 0, right? That's the ordered pair for this point. My directrix is going to be 1 fourth to the right. So my directrix is going to be the vertical line x equals positive 1 fourth. So let's label. Let's just do that real quick. Let's say this is 1 fourth. So each tick mark here is 1 fourth. Well, my focal diameter is 1, so I need to go a half in each direction. Well, a half is going to be um, double this distance here. So I'm going to go, here's a fourth, here's a half. There's a point. I need to go a half in the other direction. A fourth, a half, here's another point. So you can see the total distance across is 1 1 fourth, 2 1 fourths, 3 1 fourths, 4 1 fourths. So 4 fourths equals 1 which is the focal diameter we had. So the graph of this parabola looks, and I miss those dots all the time, the graph of this parabola looks something like this. This equation looks a bit different, but it's very similar to this equation, x squared equals 4y. The difference is that x is not x, it's x plus 2, and y is not y, it's y plus 1. However, the x part is still squared and the y part is not. So this is definitely a parabola, and it is vertical because the x is squared. Now the big difference is you can't plug in 0 for x and y anymore. Instead, you want to make this part 0, the x part 0. So in that case, x would have to be negative 2 to make that 0. To make the y part 0, y would have to be negative 1. Okay? Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so x would be negative 2. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so y would be negative 1. What that does is it helps us identify our vertex, which we're typically used to it being 0, 0. Well, that's in this case, but over here, we need to sort of shift those values to accommodate the pluses that we have. All right, the focal diameter is 4. So that means the distance to the focus is going to be 4 divided by 4, which is 1. All right, um, so let's start graphing. So I'll begin by plotting my vertex, negative 2, negative 1. Um, my focus, it's a vertical parabola, don't forget, because the x is squared. So my focus is going to be above or below my vertex. And it's going to be one unit away. So I need to go up 1 or down 1. And since the 4 here is positive, I'm going to go up 1. So my focus is going to be right here. That means my focus is the ordered pair, negative 2, comma 0. My directrix is opposite my focus in the same, the same distance, so I need to go 1 below to get my directrix. This is a horizontal line, so it's going to be y equals, and it crosses at negative 2. Finally, I need to use my focal diameter, which is 4. My focus is right here, so I need to go 2 in each direction to get a total width of 4. So 2 in this direction, 2 in this direction, and now I can graph the parabola. And there we go. So that's a shifted parabola. The vertex is moved because of these pluses on the x and the y.